these things in the streets, like how to be a businessman. Nigga was young, selling drugs, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you gotta have good product. You had good product, your clients gonna keep coming back and word of mouth gonna spread. I take stuff from that and apply it to how I do business now. You feel me, just overall life. As a young adult, as a father, as a businessman, I feel like I learned a lot of my morals and my get in from, from the gang culture. I'm from West Side, about the tree. Fuck all the fake bloods in the enemies. YG 400, chunk of big peas. Niggas went quiet, then must have did the beat. So woke, my cool, so woke, so woke, so woke. My bitch put red on her shoes. So woke, till I die, no lie, that's truth. So woke, gang ties, bullet wounds, that's proof. So woke, gang along, bang, bang. You ain't got a pistol on. Niggas should let everybody know that we ain't starting to clock into YG and them give us an okay. All right, well then, in your closeout, you need to make sure it's clear. I was always in a fashion on some high school shit. It was different, though. I was on some ghetto fashion back then, you know what I'm saying? But I was always one of the dudes that would be one of the ones in high school that was like, come to school, best dress type shit. YG, you know, he used to skate. You could tell in high style is he's influenced. While skating with the flooded, you know, the flooded pants and yep. the chucks and bands. Skinny and jeans and, wear, and then big tops, you know what I'm saying, flannels. We always been wearing flannels. Like, YG, you be skating, like, he used to be with us skating. Like, we used exactly. to have a click called Boys and Bras. Right. It was this shit right here, you know, rest in peace, uh, Charlie Ford. Charlie Ford, Ford CJ, CJ Mack. Mac. That was like our homie. We had our click called Boys and Bras. I YG, did it all when I was young. I skateboarded, you know what I'm saying, involved in the gang cultures. Like, I can show you a lot of old flicks of like OG gangsters, like G's, you know what I'm saying? The ones that was getting money, you know what I'm saying? They had skinny jeans on, shirts tucked, belts, hard bottoms, boots, you know what I'm saying? They was rocking shoes like this. So um, when I decided I wanted to turn up on some fashion shit, you know what I'm saying? I was like, I want to turn up on some fashion shit, but I want to keep my shit west side and G'd up. So, I sprinkled some of that into the 400 brand, you know what I'm saying? And uh, my boy Gavin sprinkled some of his shit in the shits. And um, yeah, yeah. So the fashion show didn't start yet? No, not yet. Okay. Yeah, not yet. It's about to start in like five, ten minutes, bro. And then that only lasts for a little bit, then you gone. Yeah, that's all right. All right, 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 Lord, let us have a good show, Lord. Yes, yes, God. Let's go here and stay this shit, Lord. Yes, God. Yes, God. You know what I'm saying? Yes, God. Give us the strength. Yes, God. Yes, God. The swag, the sauce, the juice. Yes, God. Do this shit. Do this shit right. Hey. Excuse my curse word. Hey. 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 H
we got a chance to holler at Barney's and, and talk to them before the fashion show and um, show them the collection and they was, they fucked with it, they liked it. So we got confirmation on the Barney situation before the fashion show, which just made the fashion show better because I got to announce, yeah, this shit in Barney's too, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? So it just, it was like, damn. Like the setup was cold and it was just like, we manifest that, you know what I'm talking about? We talked about it, talked about it, and brought it to life and we did it. And one of the goals from the first conversations, we was like, we gotta have a fashion show. It's a good idea. produced a fashion show before this was our first time you know so but we just approached it head on and and, and just kind of took it and did it our way and worked it out you and know just motive, and just keep motivating yeah. the world and everybody that's looking at us because it's like we really did a fashion show and we never did one yeah. and we just pulled it off you know what i'm saying and it's like um anything is possible Chase your dreams, brother love. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Follow up on them motherfuckers. Hey, look, I'm gonna tell you like this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you like this, nigga. Don't downgrade and dis disrespect hood niggas, nigga. Just come through with that shit, nigga. I'm saying 400. Shout out to my nigga, YG 400. Yo. Yeah. Love, money making bitch. Tell him something. Build it, nigga. What I tell people is like, you gotta take that what you're going through and use it as fire, bro. You know what I'm saying? Fuel to your fire. That's what you gotta do, cause all the other shit is not gonna help you. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna you supposed to take what you're going through and turn yourself up. You know what I'm saying, like I said earlier, follow your dreams, write your shit down. Write the process of how to get this shit done down. Figure the process out, write the process down. Follow up on the motherfuckers and do that shit and keep doing it. And you got to give your situation some time. You can't just feel like, oh, I've been doing this for two weeks or a month and ain't shit happen. This shit take time. Greatness don't happen overnight. You know what I'm saying? The homie don't happen. Hey, then this beat got pressed. Hey, he think that's bad for me right here in my face. I been on the four block. I been on the eight. Gun up on my waist like I'm trying to catch a case. Move, bitch. A nigga need a little space. Stain look on my face. That's too much drugs and drink. Been hunted by my past. Someone help me get away. Damn, what you think I do? I buy more drugs and drink.